All right, everyone. So today I'm going to make a caster mount set with a foothold. I'm actually going to use two footholds on one caster mount. Um, you can often take two beaver at one set by doing this. Uh, I got to see. I'm, I'm, I got to just pile a bunch of mud up here. You see it there? A bunch of mud. There's kind of an indentation of the bog there, and right there, I'm going to plant two number fours. You know, side by side. Hopefully, if I get a beaver in one, it won't trip the other trap. But uh, then I'm going to run drowners out there on these cement blocks over here. So I got a number four. I got a herder's number four here and a bringer number five special. Yes, that's a new trap. I know a lot of people will do a thousand things to their traps before they get them ready for the year. But I've noticed like with these bringer number fives, if you see my other video, actually this might be on the same video. I make three catches on footholds with the bringer number five. It was brand new, you know, you put it in the water for, for two or three weeks, you catch beaver, and before you know it, it's brown and traps perfectly fine to go. But anyway, two drowning blocks, two drowning blocks, I'm going to just use a drowning wire. It's just uh, regular, gosh, I'm not even sure what gauge it is, I buy at the hardware store. I make it twice as long as it should be, and I double it over, and I twist the end to make my drowning line. So, a drowning block there, you can see I have this wire twisted now. This took me about two minutes to do. I mean, like I said, if you have a cheap, a cheap drill, you can do it in 10 seconds. So anyway, that's probably, I don't know, I'd say 10 feet long. Now I'm going to slide my drowning lock over this here. I'm going to pinch this so it fits. Slide my drowning lock over here. And then I have two 36 inch long T-bar stakes. There they are right there. Drive one of those into the ground right next to the where I'm going to set the trap. Throw the drowning block out there. Set the trap. Do the exact same thing. Put some lure up here, and bam, you're done. So I'll, I'll get a little bit more video of here setting the trap. All right. So there's my wire right there. See my drowning lock on there. Here's this T-bar stake. Now I just push this stake into the bottom, right up here where I want to put my trap, roughly. There we go. Just like that. Okay? Got my trap somewhere here. We'll drop the locks way down there. Anyway, bring my trap up here. There it is. Set my trap. I'll, I'll place it. It's in about four inches of the water, right, right up close here to the caster mound. Um, B, we're going to come up, you know, I'm going to put a couple little sticks pointing out here. They'll bump their face on it, drop that front foot right into this trap. Then when we come and check, there's going to be a beaver or two or whatever. But the cool part is, what am I doing? I'm putting a Browning HD trail camera on this caster mount set. So we're going to see what the beaver are actually doing when they work this set. So regardless or not, I'm going to put this up. So it'll either be fail or not fail. Sounds simple, right? Anyway, everybody, um, I'll finish this, this set up here. All right, I got my Browning HD camera here. And this is the end of my set. Number four, or number five Bridger Special right there. Old school, 20 year old number four herders right there. I bought that trap brand new. You know, might have, I mean, it might not have been made that year, but I bought that trap brand new with my dad. I brought, bought four of my one left and I just, can't bring myself to put it on the wall. He wouldn't. He wouldn't want that. Anyway, fresh beaver caster and some cavens beaver lure. Fresh caster and some cavens beaver lure. Beaver gonna come right in. They're gonna come right up, and they're gonna they're gonna bump into this here, and they're gonna drop a front foot or just put their front foot down to sniff this. You know, you want this back. Oh, I don't know. It's probably back about eight inches from here. Front foot, front foot. And when they get caught, they should head right for deep water. You know, I got both my drowning blocks out there, and hopefully we're gonna see what happens.
All right, everybody, we're back at this set today. You see me make it yesterday. Um, this Bridger number five was sprung and just laying just down here a little bit. And I was hoping for a double, but what I'm assuming happened is this is, I got a big beaver on this drowning wire here. I just pulled it up a little ways. But uh, what I assume happened is this beaver, he got caught. It's a big beaver and he just set both traps off. But the old, I got this old herders number four. You know, that trap's old. I trapped beaver with that with, with my dad many, many years ago. There's that big beaver. And just like I wanted, front foot catch on it. <clears throat> there it is. And that's, oh, that's a big, that's a big female too. You, a lot of people will think, oh no, that's a big female, that's not good. No, that's good <clears throat> for me and for these landowners because I'm trapping nuisance beaver that they have to get rid of. So this is what happened, okay? <clears throat> that bridger number five was on that side. This number four is on this side, okay? Here's this beaver. His left foot is in that trap. That means his right foot would have been right over, almost right over that trap. So that's probably what happened. This trap fired and uh, he set both of them off. Anyway, basic beaver sets. That's how you get them. Thanks for watching.